my third grade. So I have a project here today that we can do together. So first part of that was you making a beautiful watercolor. And I wanna make sure that you covered the whole page with color, the entire thing. There aren't little windows of white popping through. And then once it's completely dry, you're gonna turn over your painting and you're gonna get a pencil and a ruler. Now, my painting have, has curved edges, but yours is going to be, yours is nice and square, so you don't have to worry about this. But I set my drawing pad underneath so I could make sure that I was measuring accurately. So we're gonna take our ruler and we're gonna measure from the bottom edge, match it up with this little black line, and we're gonna measure one, two, three inches and make a nice mark so you can see. Now we're gonna do the same on the other side. So I have mine matched up with the little black line. I'm gonna go one inch, two inch, three inch and make a nice mark that I can see. Now, my ruler is a little bit shorter than my page. So I'm gonna use my drawing pad to connect those two marks so I have a nice straight line. So I'm gonna mark, match up. You can use anything that's a little bit, anything that has a straight edge, maybe a book, um, a piece of cardboard. It has to be something that won't bend though when you, when you make your line. It has to be strong enough to keep the straight line. So then I'm gonna connect my two marks. And now I have a very clear line I can see. Now with my ruler, I'm gonna match it up again with the bottom edge this time. Last time we were measuring the short edge and now we're measuring the long edge. So I'm gonna measure one and a half inches. So I'm gonna go find the one and then go to the half inch mark and make a line on my page. Then I'm going to find the three inch mark and make a mark on my page. Then four and a half inches, then six inches, then seven and a half inches, then nine inches, then ten and a half inches, and that is so, so we, we marked a spot at one and a half, three inches, four and a half inches, six inches, seven and a half inches, nine inches, and 10 and a half inches. So each of those markings are one and a half inches apart. And then our last one is a little bit longer. Let's see. You know, we can put a mark at the 12, at the 12 as well. There we go. And then we're gonna do the same on the top. So you're gonna line it up on the top line. We're gonna go one and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine, ten and a half, twelve. You see? And then we're going to connect those two lines. So I'll turn my page and we'll draw lines between them.
Now you can take your scissors and we're gonna cut these lines, and but we're not gonna go past this three inch line. So we'll cut all the way to them. Um, just go down the line and cut each of those. Now I would like you to go outside and find some special leaf or fern that you would like to decorate your lantern with. Nothing too big, something that will fit just in your little look through window. <laughs> 